For more than a century, the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters has stood as a pinnacle in the realm of international tennis. Since the turn of the millennium, it has been elevated to an esteemed status within the ATP Championship Masters Series. Held at the prestigious Monte Carlo Country Club, this tournament draws the finest tennis talents from around the globe. Nestled along the picturesque French Riviera adjacent to Monaco, the annual Monte Carlo Masters Tennis Tournament unfolds each April. The primary court offers a breathtaking vista of the Azure Mediterranean Sea, rendering it a truly remarkable location for tennis enthusiasts. With a rich history spanning 123 years, this event has become synonymous with the region's allure. Notably as a male-only tournament, it holds a prominent position within the ATP World Tour Masters 1000 series. Throughout its storied history, illustrious players such as Gustavo Cuerten, Cedric Piolin, Andrei Chesnikov, Juan Carlos Ferrero, Guillermo Coria, Ivan Lendl, Novak Djokovic and the unparalleled Rafael Nadal have claimed victory on its courts. Notably, Nadal's unprecedented feat of winning the tournament eight consecutive times from 2005 to 2012 stands as a landmark achievement in tennis history. Despite its current prestigious status, the Rolex Masters hasn't always commanded such widespread attention. Its origins trace back to April 1896, when it was held not in Monaco, but in the quaint French town of Roquebrune Cap Martin, adjacent to the Principality. Organizers of the Rolex Masters secured tennis courts and administrative amenities from the French Republic for the event. The inaugural tournament in 1896 saw victory for Englishman George Whiteside Hilliard. The following year, the Brits maintained their dominance as Reginald Doherty emerged victorious over compatriot Conway W. Blackwood Price. Over time, the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters evolved from a modest beginning into the prestigious event it is today, drawing increasing numbers of participants eager to showcase their tennis prowess. Originating as an amateur tournament, it transitioned to exclusively hosting professional players in 1969. Notably, it holds the distinction of being the oldest tennis tournament in Europe. Presently, the Rolex Masters Tournament continues to take place on the clay courts of the Monte Carlo Country Club, which stands as the primary tennis venue in Monaco. The club owes its existence to the generosity of American philanthropist George Butler, an avid supporter and enthusiast of tennis. Butler's admiration for renowned French tennis player Suzanne Langlin, who amassed 31 championships between 1914 and 1926, played a significant role in his dedication to the sport and its facilities. Every year, the championship winner is honored with the prize bestowed by a member of the princely family, highlighting the enduring camaraderie between the Monte Carlo Country Club and the ruling family. Prince Rainier III and his wife Grace Kelly, both passionate tennis enthusiasts, played pivotal roles in nurturing the club's growth. Prince Rainier's cousin, Melanie Antoinette, served as its guardian for numerous years until her daughter, Elizabeth Anna Massey, assumed the presidency. Additionally, Prince Albert II of Monaco shares a fervent appreciation for the tournament, frequently attending as a spectator whenever his schedule permits. For numerous years, Rolex, a renowned Swiss watchmaker, has served as the primary sponsor and collaborator of the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters. While historically dominated by European players, there have been exceptions, such as Andrei Chesnokov, who in 1990 became the sole Russian to claim victory in this esteemed tournament. The event typically draws over 135,000 spectators, along with a contingent of more than 400 journalists and tennis experts from around the world, 
accompanied by 80 referees, all converging for the esteemed eight-day competition. A multitude of elite male players from around the globe converged to vie for victory at this prestigious tournament. Notably, numerous players chose to train in the vicinity during the off-season. Monaco, in particular, serves as a favored residence for several top players, including Novak Djokovic, Petra Kvitova, and numerous others. The upcoming 2024 Rolex Monte Carlo Masters is scheduled to take place from April 6th to April 14th this year. It marks the 117th edition of the tournament wherein the Monte Carlo Country Club will welcome international tennis luminaries to its courts and terraces, offering breathtaking panoramic vistas of the Mediterranean. In the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters Final, Andre Rublev, a beloved figure among fans, showcased his prowess on Court Rainier III. Despite his long-standing presence within the world's top 10 for over two years, it was on this particular Sunday that he truly basked in the spotlight. Rublev's emotional reaction spoke volumes. Following his triumphant victory over Holger Runa in the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters Final, the champion collapsed onto the court, his hands covering his face. In that poignant moment, amidst the red clay of the Monte Carlo Country Club, where tennis legends such as Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Bjorn Borg, and Yvonne Lendl had previously triumphed, the fifth seed not only joined their ranks, but also secured his maiden ATP Masters 1000 title. Finally, I did it. I did it in Monaco with this really historic tournament. It's a pleasure to be a part of it, Rublev said. To win a match like this, losing 4-1, love 30, break point for 5-1, and to be able to come back and to win the match is like a fairy tale today. The 25-year-old's emotions were on display as he celebrated his victory. Following heartfelt embraces with Runa and a handshake with the chair umpire, Rublev turned to the crowd to express his gratitude, tears welling in his eyes. As he stepped up to serve for the championship at 6-5 in the final set, there was a sense of anticipation. Despite the potential for further twists in the match, Rublev found himself pleasantly surprised as he swiftly secured a 40-love lead. Before my first match point, I was thinking, how weird that it was 40-love, first of all, Rublev said. And then I was thinking, just go for it. Don't think, just go for it. That's it. Rublev sealed the victory with his fifth ace of the match, converting his second championship point. Amidst the celebration, the fans showed their unwavering support for him. As a 13-time ATP Tour champion, Rublev has endeared himself to fans. Whether it's his passionate displays on the court or his ability to entertain with humorous off-court moments, he has rapidly become a beloved figure among tennis enthusiasts. To have this support, it means that for sure, I can be a better person, and I can work on it, and I can improve and try to share it with others, Rublev said. To have this support, I feel really, really grateful, because I don't know, it's not easy to get support in general. To get a good support is really tough. While some would be frustrated after losing two Masters 1000 finals, as Rublev did in 2021 in Monte Carlo and Cincinnati, Rublev continued to put the work in. It was fitting he claimed his first title at the level on the same court where he lost his first final two years ago. I was thinking that if I do the right things outside the court practicing wise, I will have chances to win the big titles, Rublev said. The thing is, I didn't know when it's going to happen. This year, last year, two years ago, because I played two finals before, I played a couple of times semi-finals and I couldn't make it. In the end, it happened here. I didn't really expect that I'm going to win the title before this week, but then match by match, I started to win. And then somehow, I ended up winning, 